on WBZ, a local Starbucks barista is facing criminal charges for allegedly spitting in a police officer's coffee cup. WBZ's Christina Rex is live outside the coffee chain location in Medfield. Christina, this is troubling. Yeah, Lisa, I spoke with the attorney who represents the police officer in this case. He tells me he has seen video surveillance as well as other evidence. And in his opinion, the video clearly shows the employee putting that cup to her mouth consistent with how someone would spit in it. However, that employee tells me that's just not true. A Medfield Starbucks employee is facing criminal charges after allegedly spitting in a Norfolk police officer's coffee. According to the police report, the officer was waiting for his coffee at the Main Street Starbucks back on May 25th when he noticed the employee put the cup to her mouth behind the counter. He told investigators that the female employee then put ice into the cup, made a drink, and then called out his name, placing the same cup he believed she spit into on the counter. Police have reviewed surveillance video, and after a probable cause hearing in late November, the court issued a criminal complaint, charging the employee with felony-level distribution of food with a harmful substance, misdemeanor assault, and adulterated or misbranded food. A Starbucks spokesperson tells WBZ the company has a deep respect for the law enforcement officers who keep our partners and communities safe, that they're unable to comment on pending litigation, and that they're aware of the allegation. They say as soon as the the company learned of the allegation, it moved quickly to investigate, but so far has not been able to substantiate the claims. And I spoke briefly by phone with the employee in question and her husband. They tell me these allegations are just not true. It is important to note the officer never actually took a sip of the coffee after this supposed incident occurred. Now, that employee has not actually been arrested. Instead, she'll receive a summons in the mail that requires her to come to court to face these criminal charges in an arraignment that will take place on January 6th. Live in Medfield, Christina Rex, WBZ News. All right, Christina, thank you.